G'day mates. If there's one thing I'm afraid of, growing old, it's dementia. I can't think of anything worse than not being able to remember who my son is, who my daughter is, who my wife is. It's really, really sad. And there's been a recent study published in the Journal of Neurology that shows people with sleep apnea who spend less time in deep sleep are more likely to have brain health problems, like dementia, Alzheimer's disease, or stroke. Previous research has shown a connection between sleep problems and cognitive decline and dementia. And this latest study sought to explore potential causes. Researchers from the Mayo Clinic examined two measures of brain health in people with sleep apnea using brain pictures from MRIs. They could detect signs of aging in the brain's white matter and nerve connections. In a statement, researcher Diego Z. Carvello, MD, said the findings were important since there is no treatment for these changes in the brain. So we need to find ways to prevent them from happening or getting worse. Reduced deep sleep was directly related to how old people's brains appeared. The less time someone spent in deep sleep, the older their brains looked. Put simply, if you want a nice young looking brain, get plenty of deep sleep. So why do people with sleep apnea spend less time in deep sleep? Well, it all comes down to your blood oxygen levels. When you stop breathing, blood oxygen levels drop. And when this happens, your brain is triggered to come out of sleep for a microsecond. So you take a breath and then your blood oxygen levels come up again. And these frequent interruptions fragment the sleep cycle and cause less deep sleep. Let's take a look at it in action. Now, some of you might have seen this data in a previous video. Apologies, I decided to redo the video because the sound quality was very poor. So hopefully it's better this time around and I've pushed in the mic properly. All right, let's take a look. So on this particular night, Sunday, May 28th, 2023, time in deep sleep, only 20 minutes. Hardly any deep sleep. And this is what I see time and time again. This little period here, is the only time in deep sleep. And what you'll also notice, yeah, there's not much REM as well. These are the REM periods here. How much REM? Only 25 minutes spent in REM. And if we scroll down and check out the blood oxygen levels, you can see there's all these periods, these great big dips throughout the night. I'll zoom in for you. See these great big dips here? Starts off at 98%, nice and high. All of a sudden there's restriction in the upper airway, oxygen levels drop, and at this point here, at 83%, the brain is triggered. It comes out of sleep right here. You get a breath, oxygen levels come back up. But every one of those drops is an interruption to the sleep cycle, the quality of the sleep. And that's why there's very, very little deep sleep. And because of this, what we're seeing now in the literature is that's a big problem and it's going to age your brain. And it all makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, we know how important sleep quality is. So two days later, this same person starts CPAP therapy to treat their sleep apnea. So they don't stop breathing all their time. Their breathing's nice and regular, nice, stable blood oxygen levels. And let's take a look at the difference that makes to their sleep architecture, their sleep statistics, and also their blood oxygen level. We'll start with the blood oxygen level here. And you can see it's much more consistent, far more stable. There's a few little drops here and here, but overall, it's a massive difference. Let's have a look at the deep sleep and the REM sleep. Check this out. Time in deep sleep now, one hour and 15 minutes, up 54 minutes with CPAP therapy. Just incredible. Have a look at it, all this purple here. Great big bars of beautiful deep sleep. The brain finally has a chance to rest. And also look at all the new REM periods as well. Here, here, one hour and 52 minutes in REM, up one hour and nine minutes on the previous night. Just incredible. So the good news here for this patient is they're preventing an aging brain with this deep sleep. And not only that, they're gonna feel so much better during the day. They won't feel so tired, they'll have more energy and they'll be able to concentrate, focus and have a sharp mind. Thanks for watching guys. If you'd like to check out this information for yourself, 
check out sleephq.com. It's my cloud-based CPAP therapy reporting and analytics platform. And we now have Apple Health integration. So you can wear your Apple Watch to bed and check out your sleep stage data alongside your CPAP therapy data. Until next time, guys, sleep well, look after your mate, look after your mind. Cheers.